In this video, we are going to have a look at how to create a new blog post and some of the different items that you can pay attention to if you're worried about SEO. So on the left hand side, go to posts and either go to all your posts so you can have an overview of what you have already and then you can add new post. So the title of this blog post, I'm going to call how to add a blog post. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over to the right hand side of the menu and I am going to, I will publish this and I want it to be in the category tips and tricks and I need a featured image. So I'm going to pick a random featured image here for the moment. I'm going to set this image as the featured image. Now in relation for SEO, one thing that you can do is you can edit the alt text. So what I would do here is I would put the alt text for the image um, the same as what I'm calling the blog. So how to add a blog post. I'm going to go back into featured image, set a featured image, select the image that I want to use for this blog. I'm going to put the alt text to how to add a blog post and I'm going to click set featured image. Then I'm going to click publish. I can add the text in here um, and a paragraph of text below it, but the easier thing to do is to ignore that. Let's only publish once we have put in the blog name and put in featured image. Then we're going to go into the website editor. In this case, we're going to go to Avada Builder. Other website builders like Flatsum, you're going to click UX Builder, which will allow you to use a drag and drop editor for the website. So we'll go to default editor and we're going to click container. And for this time, I want to put an image on the right hand side and some text in the middle of the page. So I'm going to pick a half by a half. So the left hand side, I'm going to put the text. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to cancel. I'm going to click the plus element sign. It brings up this option with lots of different items that we can add onto our page, like a progress bar, a pricing, pricing table, post sliders, menu anchor, uh, Google Maps. But for now, I just want to search for text. We're going to select a text block and we are going to use one column for this text block. So uh, did you know how you can create a blog post before looking at this video. That's not very good grammar. And we're going to hit save. So now we've got our text on the left hand side. One extra item, I'm just going to go back in and edit it again. I'm going to paste in the blog title and put in our heading one tag and we have our paragraph and then I'm going to hit save. So on every blog page, you should have one heading one, you could have three or four heading twos, and then you have paragraphs of text that break down the information for your users. Quite a lot of the time for blogs, you actually want to have, uh, keep it very simple. You wanna have text and then image, text and image, and um, it makes it easier to read. But for this, I just wanted to show you how to do it side by side. So I'm gonna click save, on the right hand side, we will click element and I'm going to search for image. And I'm going to add a new image in here, upload image. And then I'm going to select this image for the blog post. Uh, how to add a blog post tips. So again, we are updating the alt text for the blog, Click, clicking insert into post. I'm then going to hit save and I'm going to update the blog page. So that will publish it going live for everyone to see. If you want to schedule it, you can change the publish date here below published, I'll cancel that. Or if you made a mistake and you need to go back and make edits, you can go to the revisions, click browse, and you can reverse the changes that you've made to your website page to an older page. So the one on the left-hand side is the remove text and the one on the right hand side is the new one. You don't need to worry about the content or the, the coding that appears to be here. You just need to 
go back to the previous version and to restore that version. So you need to go back to maybe it was two days ago or two weeks ago, you made your last edit. It will tell you when it was made. Currently, this was only two minutes ago, but it would say two weeks ago. You can click restore this edit. Just make sure that you are happy that the version that you're putting in is the correct one because it will delete the edits that you have put in. Okay, so now we've got the text on the left, image on the right. I will click update and we will have a look at this blog page on the customer's view. Okay, so we're on the blog page. So now we've got the featured image that we put in at the start, um, which in this template, it takes up a good bit of the space with a lot of templates. It may not show this on the blog page at all. The main thing that you can see here is we now have the blog title, the text that we put in and the image side by side. I'm going to quickly edit this to make it one column wide to show you the change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the editor. I'm going to grab or click onto the image and I'm going to drag it across the left-hand side. I'm going to put it below the text and I'm going to let go. Then on the right-hand side, this is now a blank section. So I'm going to hit the bin button and throw it into the trash. Now for the remaining section, I'm going to click the one half and I want that to go across the full page. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to click one of one. And then I'm going to click update. Then we're going to reload the blog page and we are going to see the, again, edits. So this image should now be below the text instead of beside it. Okay, there we have it. Everything is updated. You can see everything is aligned to the left-hand side. I will update that as well to center align it, just so you can see everything being center aligned. So we'll go back into the editor. Okay, so in the page builder, what we are going to do is we are going to change, we are going to go into each item. So we'll go into the edit in the text and we are going to highlight it and center align it. See left, center, right align. So we'll put center align, hit save. We'll go to the image and we will click on the center here again, I clicked it off recording, uh, click save, then hit update on the right hand side. Then we'll go back to the blog page and we'll have a look at our update to see what has happened. And there you go. The heading has been centered, the text has been centered, and the image has also been centered. I hope this video helps. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment below. If you found some useful tips from this video, please smash the like button. Otherwise, Check out our other videos, see how we can help you update and edit your websites, giving you information in bite-sized chunks. Later, guys. Mm -hmm.